1967, New York City Mayor John Lindsay welcomes artist Mark Chagall to Gotham. WNYE TV begins broadcasting. And a ship launching heralds a cleaner New York Harbor. My mission to reveal the secrets of the sewers brings me to the Newtown Creek. This ship is a sludge boat and has been coursing through New York's harbor for 40 years. Sludge boats have been a fixture in New York's harbor since the late 1930s. New York City started hauling sludge in 1938. Originally, it was more of a health issue than it was an environmental issue. New York City has a long history. Um, I shouldn't say a long love affair with sludge boats because most people don't know they exist, but has a long history of using boats to move sewage or sludge around the harbor. Prior to the 20th century, virtually all raw sewage was simply dumped into New York's rivers. There was sludge piled into the piers, paint was coming off the liners, we killed off the oyster colonies that were throughout the harbor, the shad disappeared from the Hudson River, and it got so bad that from the 1800s to the 1900s, people didn't want to come to New York because it stunk when you got off the liner. Waterways that had once supported thriving fishing and shellfish industries were reduced to open cesspools. The harbor became so polluted, the water so corrosive, that it damaged ships' hulls. Early sludge boats collected waste from New York's original treatment plants and took it out to sea. But ocean dumping proved to be a temporary solution. At first, the sludge was deposited just beyond the Verrazano Narrows. Sewage boats were used to frequent a site about 12 miles off the coast that was called the Mud Dump. We had sludge boats that would discharge it into the Ambrose Channel that would allow it to wash away with the currents. I was on the boat when we would go into the 12-mile dump. We loaded it up at one of the 14 plants and would take it out there, usually make two trips a day, and we would disperse it, and it was better than having it, you know, being in the harbor. As the waters around New York City became ever more foul, the dumping grounds were moved ever further out to sea. They learned that the sludge was just not going away and, and leaving their consciousness. It would come back to haunt them. And you would get wash-ups anywhere from, uh, let's say, Port Washington and Long Island all the way down the Jersey Shore. Ocean dumping was a bad idea. The sludge smothered the ocean floor, destroyed fishing grounds, and eventually washed back on shore. This practice was outlawed in 1992. In that year, New York sludge boats stopped dumping sludge at sea. It's very clear that the water around New York Harbor has gotten much cleaner in the last several decades. And we've seen evidence of that in the return of all kinds of marine life that hasn't existed here in a very long time. It's a far cry from the day when the sewage was simply dumped into the ocean and polluted it. The sludge boat's task is my secret. New York has 14 treatment plants, but six of them are unable to process sludge. These boats transport the waste from facilities that cannot treat the sludge to ones that can. And to this day, we have a very small fleet of sludge vessels that transport sludge around New York Harbor. New York City has three sludge boats. They operate with a crew of six who work a 12-hour shift. They are crewed by maritime titles. We have captains, we have mates, we have marine engineers. And these crews both operate and maintain the vessels. There are crews that work more or less around the clock in moving the sludge around the harbor. The sludge boats transport sludge from treatment plants that can't process it to facilities that can. Well, we hook up a 12-inch hose and we load it into these tank vessels, which carry 100,000 cubic feet and we load it in eight different compartments, four in the port, four in the stop. It takes us two hours to load, and we usually take an hour and a half to bring it to the second plant. The Newtown Creek transports the sludge to treatment facilities that dewater the liquid content by more than 90%, and each boat can carry more than 2,000 tons of sludge. At that point, we have three centrifugal open-faced slurry pumps that handle 4,000 gallons per minute and we hook up the 12-inch hose again to that dock and we pump it out and that takes about two hours. <laughs> 